Uh, I just got this package and I recognize the game store that I ordered this from. Mm -hmm. um, but I only ordered one thing from there and this can't be it, but it has to be it. Is that what you thought it was? <laughs> um, it's like a week and a half early. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. There was definitely some kind of mistake. <laughs> Just took a shower <laughs> off the gym and I was thinking about it. I didn't even realize when I was so excited opening it's not the white one. I ordered the white OLED. This is just the standard red and blue, but it was addressed to me and it was my receipt with my information. I don't know if a white one is gonna show up on October 8th or not. I don't wanna say where I ordered from because I don't wanna get anyone in trouble if it was a mistake and if it was a favor, I definitely don't wanna get anyone in trouble. I'm still kinda shaking. There's a little part of me that's like, but it's not my one. That said, I'm still very excited to open open it. I figure we'll unbox it and, and play some games on it. Okay, so we're gonna try importing my old Switch data over to this one. I've been really excited to see what Breath of the Wild looks like on this thing more than anything. A part of me is expecting to open this right now and just find like a brick, like a literal brick, or maybe a, a note that says, uh, just kidding. I, I don't, okay. One thing I'll say, is this box is very small. Like this is a very small box in comparison to a normal Switch box. And it's super light as well. No, I'm just kidding. This is my brick. Yeah, I have a brick. It's for, it's a it's a joke on Twitch. It doesn't matter. Although tonight I am going to be playing this on Twitch. If uh, now, if you want to come watch, I'm gonna be recording footage off of the screen and streaming it on on Twitch. It looks no different yet. It looks exactly how you would expect. Take out the Joy-Cons first. Yeah, I mean, some good good Joy-Con in their Joy-Cons. I haven't used the neon red and blue since launch, essentially. I wonder if we're gonna see any difference in the actual switch here until we turn it on. Oh! Immediately, yes. I forgot all about the really wide kickstand on the back. I forgot about that. Oh, that is nice, actually. Oh, I didn't realize this. This is awesome. So the kickstand is on like a pulley system of some kind and you can position it any way you want. I assume there'd be like a few different click levels to it, but it's actually really sturdy and you can literally set it at any angle you want. Dude, that is, oh, all the way down like that. That is sick. And I can already tell this screen is so nice. I can already obviously see the, the bezel here, but the screen is like glass. Like, it, it, I, I don't know what word to use to explain it. It's it's so shiny. It looks like it's going to be, I don't, know, I don't know how to explain this. The other screen, I guess the glass looks dull and this glass looks really crisp. Like you can tell it's a really nice screen before you even turn it on. Okay, everything else looks pretty normal. You know what? No, I'm definitely gonna like the white more, but this is still kind of really cool. <laughs> Cause it's like the original Switch, but better, obviously. Sorry, I'm so excited. My brain is not really working well. Oh, usually when you open a Switch for the first time, the exciting bit is here. And the dock is like, oh, we've seen that. But I just remembered again, I'm forgetting that this whole Switch is new. This dock is new. Wait a second. I got another package in the mail today. There's no way I was sent my OLED and this. I didn't even open the other package cause it looked completely different. Hold on. It says fragile. There's no way this is my white OLED, right? Oh my God. It's not the OLED. <laughs> it's something possibly even better. G Fuel. <laughs> but wait, what's in this box? Oh wow, that's kind of sick. Black ooze, the venom cans. There's venom and then there's supposed to be, yeah, red ooze. So venom and carnage cans. So if you wanted to get yourself some G Fuel, you can go to uh, gfuel.com, use code beat'em ups, you'll get 30% off. 
What's in here, though? Oh! G Fuel has been supporting me for almost a year now. So as soon as this Venom stuff went live, I actually bought it all myself. I'm really excited to try it. Right now I'm eating super healthy, no sugar and all of that. So G Fuel is perfect to keep my energy up because it's zero calories, zero sugar. But I am clearly a big fan of the Pop Rocks because I have like a billion of them. Sorry, the energy crystals. It's G Fuel's formula designed to just be eaten and then there's Pop Rocks mixed into it. Uh, so if you want to go to gfuel.com and use code beat-em-ups, I'd really appreciate it. It helps support the channel a lot. Should I try red or black? Dumb question. You know what's weird? It actually tastes like black ooze, but it's kind of good. I think it's blackberry. Okay, sorry. Where was I? <laughs> okay, so we got the dark... We got the charger. All right, new dock. It's not the white one. This is the most disappointing part because the white dock looks really cool. Oh, that is still nice though. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's so much. There's the logo is obviously smaller on it, which is just making it look sleeker. And on the inside, it's like this smooth clear plastic, almost like it's designed to really like slide the switch in. Let me get my other dock. They are really exactly the same size. This one's just been rounded. It looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Oh yeah! <laughs> There's like so many little things. It feels like this is the next generation, like Switch 2. Let's clear some room and try turning this on. Oh, even the power button is sleeker. It's like an oval now. <laughs> oh my God, it's so clear. Uh, I'm not playing. This is a very nice screen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the improved sound. Dude, okay, I this looks amazing. You can tell the screen quality is so much nicer. It's night and day is what I'm saying. And that's the best comparison I can give to this. I'm just putting in my Wi-Fi password and I already feel like my eyes are having to dart around the screen to look at numbers because it's so much bigger. From here, it's gonna take a little bit of fiddling. I'm gonna try and get this done as quick as possible. My God, I can't wait to spend like 24 hours with this thing because the dock has land now and can be updated. That was a new feature. There's so much to test past this video. I might have to do a follow-up. If you have any questions or things you wanna see me try or play, uh, you can ask me in the comment section or swing by the Twitch stream and, and ask in the chat. And if there's enough, and I think there will be, my mind is racing at all the possibilities. I I'll do a follow-up video. I'll say though, like I'm, I'm actually like giddy with excitement right now, looking at how nice this screen is just to see what games look like on it. Okay, that's both users. That was relatively hassle free. They got a brand new switch, baby. OLED model. I wanna get Zelda running on this immediately. Okay, how do you open the game card slot now? Because on the old one, there was a nice little divot for you to grab, but I can't get my fingernail. Okay, I, I guess I can. There's not nearly as much of a divot in this game card slot. If you're a nail biter like I am, you might have a hard time. <laughs> Look at the difference. Holy crap. This is huge. This is so much better than I thought it would be. This is like bright, clear, crystal white looking like really nice. This has like a soft, I'm, I'm almost seeing like a blurry screen now that I have the comparison. But on top of that, look how much more screen we have, room we have. These icons look so small in comparison to this massive Breath of the Wild icon. Okay, all right. I am very excited. It looks so Good. I'm leaning towards this being worth the upgrade. I'm leaning towards recommending, literally, if you have a Switch, upgrading to this. I'm leaning towards that right now. That's how impressed I am. The screen is like glossy. I think that's the word I was looking for earlier. It has like a gloss look to it. It's really shiny and like, you can tell when there's like a speck of dust on it because it's so clean. Holy crap. I'm speechless. It 
It's so clean. The colors on this OLED are absolutely popping out of the screen. I love Breath of the Wild. Color-wise, it can be very dull. And when I do my gameplay videos, sometimes I have to boost the saturation a little bit. But this is really bringing out the greens and the blues. Like, it looks so nice. And on top of that, it's just, it's so clean. The edges are so crisp, like everything. It's so strange. It's like, it's like this game is suddenly in HD. Is this screen 1080? It's not, is it? It's not. But it honestly feels like I've taken a leap from 720 to 1080. Yeah, this is undeniably so much better. Like this feels like a next gen console. I, I, I really, I'm, I'm speechless, but I have so many words. I'm floored. I'm, I'm blown away. I don't feel like at any point I said it wasn't going to look better, but I think subconsciously I didn't think it would be that different and I was wrong. I mean, you can tell, you can immediately tell, uh, the screen's a lot larger, making everything easier to see. It's a lot cleaner, making all the lines, all the edges like crisp. The biggest difference with OLED is color. So the color is jumping out of the screen. You have those improved speakers, which actually sound pretty nice. It kind of sounds like I'm being encompassed by the sound. This is a sizable upgrade. I, I, I can't lie. Everything I just mentioned, plus this really awesome dock, the screen makes this more usable in tabletop mode because you can see more of it when you're further away. I'm completely blown away. Yeah, I can't get my stubby little fingernails in this game card. I don't know how I'm supposed to they make you work for it. Super Mario Odyssey! It's so bright. It's so bright and vibrant and clear. <clears throat> Just speechless. I don't it looks really nice. I don't know why I'm so baffled by it. I don't know why I'm taken so off guard because I upgraded recently to an OLED TV and the difference in that was incredible. I don't know. I just, I guess I didn't expect it to be this nice. Definitely worth the upgrade. Everything's going to look, feel and play better and bigger, cleaner, crisper, more colors. Like if you're big on your games looking good, it's weird. It's almost like an artificial upgrade. Like you've just given the game something to look better through rather than making the games actually look better, if that makes sense. Those are just some first impressions. I mean, I, I need to spend some time with this guy. Again, once I have this video out, I'm really hoping to edit this out really quickly and get live tonight on Twitch. I'll play more, I'll try more things. You can come join me and ask questions in that stream and, and we'll experiment and try things together. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll try and answer all of that in a video. I'm still gonna make a video about the white one when it gets here, if it gets here. I don't know why this happened to me today, but I'm so happy. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.